Can river fish live in a tank? Compatibility and tips. River fish can live in a tank, but there may be challenges. Some species require a very large tank and do not do well with tank mates. However, if you can select the right types of fish, provide them with the right environment, and care for them well, you can succeed with a river fish tank. In this video, I'll discuss several related issues, including legal concerns, potential health issues, and some tips for setting up your river fish tank for success. Can you keep river fish in an aquarium? You can keep river fish in an aquarium as long as the tank is big enough and the species is suitable for aquarium life. Some river fish grow too large for a tank, and others have special dietary or other needs that are difficult to maintain. It's essential to have a good understanding of the species before you keep a river fish in your aquarium. Best River Fish for Aquariums Before you start your collection, it's a good idea to learn all about the species' populations to make sure that you only gather fish suitable for aquarium life. Once the fish live in your tank, you should never release them back into the wild. Best Fish Groups for Your Tank 1. Centrarchidae this is very common fish family in North America and best examples are sunfish, bluegill, pumpkin seed, largemouth bass, etc. Some are too big for a tank, such as largemouth bass. 2. Persidae. They are bright and colorful best example is dart. A small size works well for a tank. 3. Cyprinidae. They are extremely common and can survive with any other fish that are not natural predators. 4. Ictaluridae. The tadpole matum is a popular aquarium addition, but they are nocturnal. Species and compatibility. Many captured fish may be more aggressive than others when it comes to placing them into a tank with other fish. The small, colorful swimmers will likely become the larger fish's next meal. To prevent any unwanted losses, it's important to research any species carefully to ensure that they will be compatible with the existing population. How to Acquire River Fish Anyone who decides to have a native freshwater fish tank may be unsure of the best way to acquire the fish. You may have some luck at a smaller store specializing in aquariums and has a large variety of fish, but the local types will probably be very limited. Many people decide to collect their own fish from local waterways. If you have access to a river and want to get your hands wet, make sure you do your homework before you head out with your nets. Legal Restrictions and Regulations Before collecting fish from the wild, take some time to research any local or state regulations. For example, according to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, freshwater fish are either game or non-game varieties. Game fish include various bass, sunfish, bluegill, crappie, etc., and only be taken using a fishing pole and line or rod and reel. Non-game fish may be taken in various ways, including nets in most areas, traps, set lines, trot lines, and others. In addition to these, there are local and state licensing requirements to familiarize yourself with before heading out to the water. Regulations around the world these same kinds of laws and restrictions may be found in all parts of the world, so it's always a good idea to check with local authorities or do some research before heading out to the river wherever you are. River Fish Health and Safety Many wild fish can carry diseases and parasites, so never mix river fish with tropical or other exotic fish. When adding new river fish to the tank, it's a good idea to quarantine them in their own aquarium for two to four weeks to avoid introducing any diseases to your existing population. Tips for your river fish tank A river fish tank can be a beautiful and exciting project. Do some research to learn how to properly maintain an aquarium, when and how often to feed your fish, how and when to clean the tank, and so on. It will save you a lot of headaches in the future. Water Condition the good thing about freshwater fish is that they live in dynamic environments that change with the seasons. However, you will need to ensure that the water condition in your aquarium is suitable. This includes temperature, pH, and cleanliness. Mimic the natural environment. 
For the best transition, it's helpful to try to mimic the fish's natural environment as much as possible. If the fish naturally likes to hide in rocks, it would be a good idea to provide that element in your tank. Happier fish will be healthier fish, so always provide the right temperature and right amount of sunlight. How to determine what size tank you need. Having a big enough tank is one of the most critical components of a river fish aquarium. Before you begin, you'll need to know how big your fish will get and how many you plan to have. Or, if you already have the tank, you'll need to make sure to only select fish that are appropriate for the tank's size. In general, you should have at least 1 gallon, 3.8 L, of water for each inch, 2.5 centimeters, of fish. If you plan to add rocks, plants, or other structures, you'll need to take that into account as well. It's best to start with just a few fish, 3 or less, to see how they do before adding more. Caring for your river fish. Keep a close eye on your river fish for the first few weeks to see how they do in their new environment. One thing you can do to help them thrive is to keep the water clean and fresh. To keep the tank clean, it's important to check the filter often and clean it every few days. Try to make sure that the light is similar to what the fish experience in the wild. They should get several hours of light and several hours of dark to help maintain their natural processes and rhythms. Something else to consider is that river fish, especially if collected from the wild, may reproduce on their own and overpopulate the tank. If possible, try to identify males and females to keep them separate. A quick web search may provide some identifying features. What to feed river fish Knowing the species you have in the tank, and their dietary needs is essential to keeping your fish happy and healthy. Most fish will eat frozen or pellet foods, which is a more convenient and economical option. Watch for any signs of illness or fish that may not be getting enough access to food so that you can separate them into a different tank if needed. If you take the time to learn about the different species and their needs, you can grow a collection of beautiful and lively river fish. Thank you for watching.